against the evil genius from Witch of the Boratory with your lab secrets tip of the day. Well, we've been off for a couple of days. You've probably noticed that there's been a lack of blogging, and there's a good reason for that. We've been hard at work at the lab coming up with our new and top secret lab dashboard. I'm not going to give you any more information right now, but suffice to say, you're going to see something in the next week or so that's going to revolutionize the way that you utilize your lab secret solution. Really exciting stuff. Now, in order to give you a little payback for your patience this week, I'm doing a double today. I'm going to show you how you can utilize a combination of two plugins. One is the CAPTCHA program, and one is the Security Question or Humanity plugin. And both of these together work on your registration form in order for you to limit the number of sploggers. What's a splogger? A splogger is a person who comes to your site or your blog signs up and spams you. So spam and blog, splog. It's not fun, but there's ways to take care of it. Now, in previous tutorials, we've shown you how to make it possible for you to bypass the whole registration detail process and make it simple. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to make it a little bit harder. And that way, you can adjust the sort of throttle setting that you have on your registration process to adapt to the type of people that are coming along. Sometimes you have a site where you don't have troubles, and sometimes you have a site where there's lots of trouble. Now, Here's how easy it is to set up and install. First of all, we've got two things. As I mentioned, we've got the CAPTCHA code, which is, again, a way for you or somebody who comes to your site to set up an automatic CAPTCHA in order to uh, prevent automated bots, or at least to slow down automated bots from hitting your site, signing up something or someone, and then spamming you with usually pharmaceutical ads. Now, we've not seen a lot of that over here with the Lab Secret Solutions customers because there's other tricks and things that we've shown you in private to keep that to a minimum. Nevertheless, the CAPTCHA code is a good little feature to add if you need it. Now, more importantly, the security question. That's the Humanity plugin. And what we like about the Humanity plugin is it's not just usable in order to keep out sploggers. It's really usable in the event that you want to do something unique. Now, here's a use case, for example, and then I'll show you how to set it up and install. We have a site owner in particular that's doing a, uh, a site that's designed for uh, children or kids that are underage. And it requires that somebody... Uh, Put in information that says I am the parent or verify that I am of a certain age. Well, you can easily use the humanity plugin in order to add that little additional bit of uh, registration information from the person. Now, how do we do it? First of all, let me show you how this actually works. So in this case, obviously the CAPTCHA code, when somebody comes along, they're going to see and be able to read TK33 and that will allow that to go through. With the security question, I obviously read the information and it says, what's the sum of four and five? And I would type in nine. Now, if I complete the sign up, it'll take me through if it's correct and it won't let me through if it's not. Let me show you how the plugins work on the back side. First of all, when I go over here to our admin dashboard, I'm using, by the way, the new Woo Sea Light theme, which looks really nice. And we're bundling together with a couple of their plugins for anybody who might be interested in a slick little setup for their lab solutions. Uh, Lab Secret Solutions site. But when I go to the admin dashboard, we see here the Humanity plugin setup is really simple. You can go ahead and put a title on it, and you can put a question on it, and then you put the appropriate answer. And it's really just that simple. So if I change this from security question to something like, please verify your age. Um, if you are over 18, please type yes as shown. And then they put the answer as being yes. Save the changes. Now I go back over to the plugin on our other web browser where I'm not logged in, and we're going to reload it. And you'll see now that this has been changed to reflect that information. So it's going to be really just that simple. When I log down, you see now I have please verify your age. And if you're over 18, please type yes. And if I were to type yes, I can get in. Now, I don't need to go through the whole registration process because you've seen that before, but the idea here is that the CAPTCHA code has nothing that you need to adjust. It's just there. You can adjust the styling as far as the letters. You can change the uh, wording, but you can't change the images because those are standard with the plugin. With the Humanity plugin, you can change all three of these parameters here, and you can also select some styling using CSS. So a couple little additions to help make it easier for you to control the access and registration to your site. This is Spence with your Tip of the day from labsecrets.com.